Hi, in this video we'll discuss machine learning in neural networks. Machine learning is a field within AI. Machine learning essentially is the aspect of teaching computers how to have intelligence. Machine learning uses data to help the computer create an algorithm to use to create an output. Let's look at an example. Well, it looks like it's going to be a nice day today. But how do we know that 86 degrees Fahrenheit is equivalent to 30 degrees Celsius? How can we convert between the two? A traditional program may look something like this. You have a function that takes degrees Celsius as an input and returns degrees Fahrenheit as an output. In this case, the algorithm is a formula that is easily found when looking online. But what if you didn't know that formula? In a machine learning environment, this problem looks different. The input and outputs are known, but the algorithm is unknown. Given just one input and one output, the computer might incorrectly calculate the algorithm to be Celsius plus 36. As you add more inputs and outputs, the model can get refined. The computer essentially is learning to make an optimized algorithm to predict Fahrenheit temperatures given a Celsius temperature. So how does all this work? One common way is what's known as a neural network. A neural network gets its name from the structure in the brain, which is essentially a network of interconnected nodes. Just like people, neural network learns through trial and error. Neural network uses nodes and layers to help create models to make predictions. Neural networks are a subset of machine learning known as deep learning. With deep learning, different layers of neural networks help to add different generalization levels to the data you're analyzing. With more generalizations, you can create broader models that can handle more situations. Let's take a look at a neural network model. In this example, there are two inputs. These can be anything that you may use for a model. For example, maybe a college wants to make predictions as far as student success, and they're going to use GPA and SAT scores as an input. The model would then have one output, such as whether or not you would be successful at a particular college. In between are two layers each composed of four nodes. In a dense neural network, each node from one layer connects to each node of the layer below. A node is essentially a computation point for the model. It takes the inputs and weighs them to produce an output along with a constant value known as a bias. As data is run through the model, the weights and biases are updated. As you run through the data more and more, you start refining these values and increasing the accuracy of the model. So let's take a look back at our temperature conversion problem. A model for this might look something like this. There's one input to our model, degrees Celsius, so you only have one input node. Likewise, there's only one output, degrees Fahrenheit, so we have one output node. The number of nodes in the hidden model layer typically estimates the complexity of the data. In this case, since the data is linear, you only need one node. Given this model, the equation that is being used to fit the data would look something like this. The input would be multiplied by a weight factor, and then a bias would be added as a constant to produce the output. Remember, weights are factors that are applied to our input values, and a bias is a constant adjustment. After running some data through the calculation, you may get something like this. Notice that the equation is not exactly 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32. The weights and biases start out with essentially random values. Each time the model runs through the data, the error is calculated and new values are created. As the model makes more passes through the data, the model error will typically get smaller, and these values will get closer to the 1.8 and 32 that we know. But what if you didn't know that the model was linear, and instead you used three nodes? The model algorithm will still produce an equation that may still predict reasonably well, however the model would be more complicated than it needs to be. 
the machine learning uses the neural network to come up with an algorithm to make the computer intelligent. Now when you ask a question, you can get an answer, or at least on this particular topic. Fitting data to a model is a lot of trial and error. You have several parameters that you can adjust to help give you a good fit. For example, as data complexity increases, you may want to adjust the number of nodes used in a layer. Increasing the number of layers helps for generalizing and deeper learning as each layer serves as an input to the next. Finally, epochs is the number of passes through the data to fit it. The more passes, the more you can fit your data. You will look more at the impacts of these variables as you start to create your own models. But the goal is to create a model that can correctly split your data. Now it's your turn to explore further.